My name is John Jacob. I'm sales manager for Ivy Wave Solutions. Ivy Wave is the leader in indoor network solutions for uh, wireless software planning. Our software basically works for all wireless technologies, in all frequencies, in both the licensed and unlicensed band, including Wi-Fi. Basically, the platform is used to design venues, all sorts of different types of venues, and determine what the best solution would be for those venues. Using the specific vendor equipment it allows the user to uh, optimize the design and actually see, before the project's even built or constructed, what the coverage would be inside the building as far as for either capacity or for just coverage. So it ena enables basically our customers to build the best network and that possibly can be built for that specific venue, for the use of, of the venue. So obviously if it's a greenfield building, it hasn't even been built, it's a little bit difficult to go to that building and do a site survey. What our software allows you to do is to simulate that create actually a 3D model of that building and basically model it in a way that understand for the different services you're trying to provide, for example, public safety, uh, what you would expect in that building as far as if it were there and you can go and measure it. Obviously you can't do that. So uh, if the building is already existing, we would go and take measurements with our equipment. Well, our, our partners would actually take the measurements with equipment from, our, from Ivy Wave directly and from some of our partners that have tools to collect for example, LTE information, and actually measure the building so a design could be optimized to uh, give the best coverage solution for that particular venue. The user would actually either use an AutoCAD file or an Adobe file and create a 3D model of the building. That's typically the first step that you're, you do in creating an Ivy Wave design. And then from that point, it, your design would be basically overlaid into the into and onto that, that 3D model. So you would actually could show the building owner exactly where the equipment's all gonna be uh, you know, installed, where it's going to be, you know, cables are gonna be ran, and typically they want to, you know, any landlord's gonna want approval of any infrastructure that's being installed in their building. So it's a way to quickly and easily show them exactly what the, uh, what the project uh, implementation plan looks like. If, if you think about it, you know, Subway systems are a perfect example that are, you know, if you've ever been in a subway, unlikely your phone has worked at all. If it were, if it's working, most likely there's a system that's been deployed in that subway and it's most likely been des designed with Ivy Wave. In the, in the old days, people used to just use, you know, Excel or a Visio program and do a lot of basically guesstimating what the coverage might look like in a building running all these different tools that are available. What we do is we actually automate that whole process. So today with our tools, what you can do is now accurately and reliably predict what the coverage and what the capacity would be in a building even before you start the project. And that's important because uh, all different venues have all different requirements. You know, first responders have their own requirements. Stadiums have their requirements. And so what we do is we, uh, we automate that process in a way that uh, reduces uh, the time it takes and increases the efficiency to create a, a very accurate design. One of the primary benefits of our software is to generate better designs, give better customer experience. What that really equates to is lower cost, higher reliability, more efficiency for all of our customers in all facets of the project and the design. Of course, upgrades are important too. So having an accurate design that's been documented properly always gives the uh, opportunity to do future upgrades, for example, for 5G in the future. Our software is PC-based, and uh, we have various different license modeling tools that, that we offer. And uh, we also have training, so a lot of our users get trained because they understand that being proficient on a tool is very important. Uh, we're also the training credits. You get Dixie training, training credits as well with the training. For us too, we also offer uh, 
unlimited support with our tools, which has been very highly recognized as some of the best support from any software tools from our customers, typically around 95% satisfaction. We also have IBWay Viewer uh, that anybody can actually have access to an IBWay design file. We also have platforms called Unity that allow shared files to be stored and properly managed as a, as, as a tool to manage the entire, all your projects that you might have out. The sharing files is simple though within IBWay by just sending a link to the user and then again if they have IBWay design they can view it or if they have the viewer they can open up and they can view the files, they can see the design that's been created remotely. So it's a collaboration uh, tool that's very uh, simple. It actually can be used from our mobile Android device or from the desktop as well. So one of the things that you can do in IBWay design is create reports for your bill of materials. And that actually will save a lot of time in doing your estimating for your project costs. So what, what that could be, you know, what that could be useful for is uh, ordering actually all the required hardware to actually build a network. It's a very simple, it's one of the many reports that we offer in the IBWay tool. We work with the, the wireless carriers, we work with the system integrators, uh, and they typically are the interface between the different municipalities or the cities or the building owners or the developers or the low voltage contractors that are responsible for basically designing and building and meeting the, the needs of the the specific county or city requirements for first responder coverage. So in the public safety world, the authorities having jurisdiction are typically the, uh, the governing body that would be reviewing design, setting the standards for the designs. We're also a member of the Safer Buildings Coalition. We are advocating to basically standardize the, the requirements for first responder systems. So it's, it's really at this point, uh, an opportunity to educate, which is the, probably one of the most important things that we can do in the public safety spectrum.